Hey Lolas, <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys. I'm here with baby Phoebe and Phoebe is the Willow Awake uh, sculpt. She is sculpted and poured by Claire Teller. She is painted by myself and she is hungry, <laughs> I think. Um, so today I'm just gonna just chat with you really quick. I just really wanted you guys to be able to see Phoebe Pool in my arms and um, I know there's a lot of talk now because we're getting more partial silicones out finally. Um, I've been, you know, wanting to see more cloth body silicones out. Um, so it's nice to see more coming out. Um, I think they definitely have a place in the community as well as the full body. Um, I think um, for two reasons. One, they give people an opportunity to just experience the feel of silicone as far as the texture. Um, and also, um, it also, it's like an introduction to silicone, but it's a, um, a little less expensive. Um, they have over the years jumped drastically like everything else. Um, when partial silicones first came out, they used to be, um, around, I know it's like, why talk about what they used to be? It just makes you mad. <laughs> but, um, they used to be around 1500 completed, you know, painted, rooted, you know, the whole nine shebang, you know, really nice ones too. But that's changed. Um, you know, now they're 3000 and up, you know, um, I mean, I've even seen a partial sale for $7,000, um, and that was bald. Um, so, you know, anything, it's, it's different ranges for all categories. So it just depends on the artist who's painted. That one was painted by a very, you know, well-known, um, very popular artist at the time. And it was a very popular scope. It was like a, um very limited edition um that sold out like that um that sold for that um but yeah the prices vary and stuff like that but i'm just glad to see them coming out but i also still love my full bodies and i also want to clear up a couple things or not clear up but just speak on a couple things because i think it's great to hear many other people um this, <laughs> If that's her, see if she, yeah. Many other people, um, opinions and thoughts and their viewpoints on different things. Um, a lot of people are like, you know, I say partials are more posable. I don't say that they're more cuddly, if that makes sense. Um, I think now that they're doing the soft silicone that the soft silicone is as um the soft silicone is as cuddly as the partials so with full bodies um but i think that um definitely do you want this or not this is the thing about her she always plays with her bottles um the thing about the, um, gosh, I don't know, I forgot what I was about to say. Yeah, so some silicones are not as cuddly because they are not soft. And the main part about the silicone that's very tricky, and I used to talk about this back in the day, um, but I try not to get too deep into controversial conversations or things that's gonna trigger you know sculptors or other artists to be mad at me because you know y'all get pissed real quick because y'all be sensitive all in y'all feelings Ooh, girl no but seriously um a lot of them the head falls back the arms dangle the legs dangle but that's not what makes the baby cuddling that helps be able to position the legs more position the arms more it helps for the head to be able to turn but the core part is what makes the baby cuddly if it can't bend in the core in the tummy area in the mid mid section it's still just as stiff as a baby that was equiflex you know 50 like 
Um, another thing, like if I see a baby with a really, really fat tummy, I'm like, oh boy, you know, it, it concerns me if it don't have a squishy tummy because if this is the thicker the silicone is, the more firmer it's going to be. And you see Phoebe is very soft. Her core is very soft. Her tummy is. That's the part that's very t soft. So she literally can, you know, fold almost in half. And so it's because she's very soft. It's always better when you show them from the back. But they bend better from the back too. So she's not going to bend as easily so like and I know it's hard to see with her clothes on but she really bends and I don't want to do too much with her but this is my this is my book of book um so but yeah she will bend and and that helps her stay very cuddly you don't even want that bottle did you um yeah so it helps her be very cuddly and so that and from from that point standpoint um if you're really wanting a full body and you're afraid that it won't be cuddly as long as it's really soft and it's sculpted you know decent say say my cousins will be cuddly like me <laughs> so yeah that's that's the thing um also taking care of silicone babies there's also always been this big stigma about, oh, there's so much maintenance, there's so much to do with them. Da, 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 da. I think we're more comfortable with our reborns because most of us started out collecting reborns and most of us collect more reborns than silicone. So we're very used to picking up a reborn and dressing them and, you know, just handling reborns. We feel like we're not on edge because they're not as expensive as one. That's one thing. I think a lot of times we think about the price and like, now nah, we can't be messing up the church's money, you know? Um, so I think that plays a part in why, you know, people be like, oh, you just gotta be so careful. You just can't, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Well, um, I really don't do anything different as far as extra that I do with my reborns. If I lay her down for six weeks in one spot, it's the same as I lay my other ones. I just pick her back up and dress her when it's ready to go. The most I do is maybe wipe out her eyes just like I would my reborns. Um, there's no extra lint that's gonna be piled up on her than it would be on my silicone babies. I mean, my reborn babies. Um, I don't bathe my babies. Um, Noah, since the video that y'all seen way back when, when he was rinsed, off in the the bathtub thing he hasn't been in there since then i think since i've had noah noah's probably had two rinse offs um and i've had him over a year now so um there's no extra the only thing that is different about them is you they are soft and you don't want to lay them on hard surfaces or things that could leave an imprint or cut into their silicone which would maybe just scratch a vinyl, but would actually might tear a silicone. That's a difference. Another difference is um, the pacifiers go inside the mouth. You don't have to cut the nipple or anything like that, but you want to use KY to make it ease in instead of doing all that rubbing and friction on, on the you know mouth. And, um, yeah, and, and um, so yeah, so you wanna, or you know, pinch the jaws. You know, people used to pinch the jaws, but now if you put the KY, it just slides in, you don't have to do all that. But you know, those little things are just, you know, it's the same as, you know, with the magnets. If you use a magnetic pacifier with a reborn, you don't wanna use something with the glue um, can get onto the vinyl. So, you know, you protect them that way. You just, it's, so there are some differences, but there's not a lot of nuances that's going to be like, oh my God, oh my God, like you got to do this. You got to get up and feed them two o'clock in the morning. Oh my God. You know, and then it's like their hair is not sealed. 
Um, so, but at the end of the day, I've not had a, re a silicone that really lost hair. Um, they might lose some, you know, over time. And it depends on how you handle your babies. Because as you guys see, this is how I comb her hair. Like this. That's it. I don't really do a whole lot. I may do her little edges every now and then. But I don't really do much to their hair. But every so often. You know, some people feel like they gotta comb their baby's hair every day. They gotta dress them every day. Um, you know, I don't feel like that anymore. I used to. And don't get me wrong, when I feel like it and I'm in the mood for it, I do it. I'm not telling you not to enjoy your babies. Enjoy your babies. Let me tell you something. You buy a car. You can buy a Maserati. You can buy a, what that thing is. A Tesla. You're going to drive it as much as you want to. Over time, it's going to get wear and tear. You think you're going to be worried or you're going to feel like Tesla cheated you because five years later your Tesla need more maintenance or need a new um, set of tires or something like that. Well, that's the same as adults. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't know how long they're going to last. You know, the longest I've heard they last is 10, 15 years. Some of us might not even be here 10 or 15 years later. So what are we worried about? It? Listen, live your life. Enjoy your babies. Um, something come up, deal with it when it come up. You know, try to, you know, be careful as far as, you know, you don't be careless. You don't pick it up by one arm. You know, that type stuff. I wouldn't pick up my reborn by one arm either because I don't want tearing and ripping the body on the cloth body on the reborn, much less ripping arm off silicone because that's a whole different story. You can buy another body, but you can't buy another body on the silicone. Um, what else would be different with them? When you're dressing them, as far as like putting on their shoes, that I find is challenging. But being that I don't put shoes on neither my vinyl or my silicone most of the time, it don't bother me. It don't really affect me in that way. Um, dressing them, same thing. I don't drag the paint, I mean drag the clothes across the paint on my reborn. So I don't drag it across the paint on my silicone. I dress my silicone on my reborn the same way. I guide the clothes, pull the clothes, not the baby. But... You know, like I said, there are, I'm not going to sit here and lie because now that I've been interacting more with my um, reborns, I have, you know, noticed that I am a lot more faster with my reborns. Um, so I think it's a mind thing because you know that they're soft and they do feel very baby. So you just... You just tend to be a little bit more careful. And I'm going to tell you, I do the same thing with real babies. When Anytime I have any interaction, it's very rare, with real babies, oh my God, the first time I went to change my grandbaby, y'all should have seen me. Y'all would have been like, girl, if you don't change that baby, I was just like, oh, oh. And I'm like, she's moving, you know? Like, it was just like, and I, it was so slow. It took me so forever long. And so I think... That's what we do with, you know, this little baby. So, yeah, um, like I said, you you treat them like you're real, real babies. As far, I'm going to say you handle them like you do real babies. Because when we say treat, I think of, you know, feeding every two hours, changing their diapers, um, getting daycare babysitters. Um, and I don't think we do all that. I think we handle them like real babies. So, yeah, so I, that's, that's the main thing. And, you know, a lot of people, they want to powder their babies and all that stuff. Back in the day, baby powder was fine. Now they're saying it's not. I think it builds up on the doll. Um, if I don't have to powder them, rather it's with, um, regular matting powder or baby powder or whatever. I don't use powder. I know it's a great sensation. We want to do it. it. I used to love it. I wanted a silicone so I can powder it and put a pacifier in his mouth. That was the two things I wanted a silicone baby for. And now I just don't, I don't want to do it. I mean, I just, it's not that serious to me. I love collecting pacifiers, but go through my photos and see how many times do you see my babies with pacifiers. Um, 
and you know sometimes I do because they look so cute and it's a cute picture and then I take them out or if I take them out that's when I probably use pacifiers the most um pacifiers to me are just like bottles they're more props I don't really use bottles baby bottles um yeah so I just wouldn't just be extra like it's you know people wipe their vinyls I mean there's vinyls vinyls lose paint um they lose hair so I don't understand what's the big difference in between the two I think the only big difference is the price and we're a little nervous because we pay so much money for the silicone versus the reborn I mean come on a reborn kit is a hundred and forty dollars average Silicone kit is a thousand twelve twelve hundred average two thousand up to up to all three thousand dollars blank as a blank scope so a hundred and three thousand or two thousand or twelve hundred is a large difference in there so mentally like psych, psychologically our brain is processing careful money careful money careful money but over time you start you don't see money you see your baby you're interacting you're fine you don't worry about it you can enjoy your baby um i see people when i even with me if i haven't dealt with my cell phones in a long time i'm like you know just really careful with everything and then after a while it's like back second nature for me i deal with them so much it's like i kind of know my limits and I kind of, I'm very comfortable with them, but I'm sure that will change. But anyway, I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. Um, I've, you know, there's day, there's weeks where I have to go into work in full time and I have to put in a lot of work. So I lose a lot of time with, um, you know, my babies and stuff. But I can't wait to the weekend so I can really get into um, my work again. I'm actually enjoying, you know, working on these babies. I'm just hoping that I can wrap up the, the, the rooting on this one baby so I can really dive into Finn. I really, I got some, I'm just feeling just really motivated to paint him. And I'm kind of now thinking like, dang, I wish I would have had my fin which I know I told you guys that before but that's what happened when you start painting them it's like oh my gosh so yeah so I'm um I'm excited about that and then I'll be really I think I'm gonna really just enjoy painting these next few babies when I paint I'm painting Finn and Ashby side by side that's what I'm gonna do um but you know I've been slowed down because of the holidays because of work and um then rooting but once i get done with the rooting and i could just really paint paint i think it'd be nice and i think me as a collector i am more relieved once i see the rooting i mean the painting because i always know that if i don't like the rooting i can either get it redone or you know the rooting isn't the scary part for me it's the painting it's the painting for me <laughs> you know that's what that's the new thing it's the so and so for me it's the uh, for me it's the uh, it's the me it's the uh, it's for me it's the serenity 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 for me uh, i need oh i need to get me some shirts say it's the serenity for me uh yes honey i am finna come out with my new I'm gonna come out with my new clothing line this year, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, like, I'm a girl finna be lit. <laughs> okay, I'm probably lying, but I have been thinking about it's two sayings that I wanna get on and I wanna do some t shirts and stuff. But I hope I wow. But we gonna see, we gonna see, girl, yes. Watch somebody else come out with a clothing line before I do. They gonna be making their t shirts because I said I was gonna do it. But that's okay, boo boo, because. I'm going to tell y'all what my shirt's going to say. I got to get somebody to make them. And then I'm going to have my own merch. I'm going to sell my own merch, y'all. Because I like YouTube merch line, the tea springs and all that. But I want to do my own merch. Y'all down for it? <laughs>
girl what yes y'all gotta come come through come through your girl for that do some merch get your merch get your merch make it work <laughs> okay anyway bye see you later